Today, we're talking about cryptocurrencies and the reason is because uh, the feedback I've received from my viewers and um, on social media is that a lot of people want to know how to make money from cryptocurrencies. Now, we're going to start at the very basics. What are cryptocurrencies? Cryptocurrencies are just virtual money and virtual money is the future of money. All money is going to be virtual maybe in about 10-20 uh, years from now. And even in conservative countries like Nigeria and Ghana, you know, the governments are coming out with virtual currencies. In Nigeria, I believe they have the e naira, and uh, in Ghana, the e city, and you know, several other domains, they're coming out with virtual currencies. So, cryptocurrency is a virtual currency. Now, the difference between cryptocurrency and, you know, like virtual currencies that are issued by governments, you know, is that those cryptocurrencies that are issued by uh, governments are controlled by the central bank, you know, and then you have other um, interregional bodies like the European Central Bank. But cryptocurrencies are not controlled by governments. So how are they controlled? How are they regulated? You see, there is a peer-to-peer -peer mechanism worldwide, a peer-to-peer -peer mechanism, you know, and then you have transactions, cryptocurrency transactions are kept in a public record, you know, that is, um, is when I say, protected by encrypted blockchain technology. So, in a way, it's even more secure than, you know, um, because you have a lot of eyes all around the world looking onto cryptocurrencies. So, while you don't have like the International Monetary Fund or the World Bank or an international governing body, you have people from all over the world, peer-to-peer -peer mechanism, peer-to-peer -peer review, people who are watching this. And so, it's almost impossible. In fact, I would say it's impossible for you to manipulate cryptocurrencies. Now, while cryptocurrencies are legal, they are not legal tender like other virtual currencies, like the e naira, like the ECD, or like you know whatever other virtual currencies exist in the world. Now I say this again: they are legal. They are not illegal, except in places like maybe China and in um, some a few places that are banned them, like Nigeria. But they are not legal tender. Now, what legal tender is is like if you in America and you take the United States dollar to any merchant, they have a legal duty to accept it. But with cryptocurrency, the merchants have to be willing to accept it. So you're at their mercy. They have to be willing to accept it. And you know, um, quite a bit have been accepting it. Like Tesla. Tesla has been accepting it. Tesla is the car company. They've been accepting it. And other people accept it. Now, you've got to be careful when you want to make money with crypto because there are a lot of scams. There are a lot of people, like even under this video, you're going to see people who will say, DM me, DM me, that's direct message me. You've got to be careful because these people want to isolate you, take advantage of your, your eagerness or sometimes greed to make money and then they sell you or they scam you. You know, or, or some people, they tell you to pay for this. No, you don't want to pay for this. You know, you want to, you can watch this video, watch other videos, but you can research and you can get the information that you need. So with crypto, it's better for you to wait for a decline or a fall or when your chosen currency, your cryptocurrency is down and then buy. Buy it at a low price, hold it and then wait until it rises again and then you sell it. Now, like I told you, uh, buy, low, keep, wait and sell. So do not be greedy. Now, do not be greedy. Do not go out and uh, uh, sell your parents' home or your own home or your family silver or your inheritance or your car or your empty your children's college fund. Don't be greedy. Use disposable income, money that you can afford to lose. You know, seed money. And then when you make more money, you keep it aside. You don't spend it. Keep it aside until you have a bundle. You know, a bundle that you can always use and then just keep getting richer and richer. Actually, you can become a multi-millionaire in US dollars by cryptocurrency. But if you're greedy, it's not going to happen. So you don't want to be greedy. So never ever trade with more money than you can afford to lose. Never trade with more money than you can afford to lose. It's very important. I, I mean, I need you to understand. It's very important. Because a lot of people are driven by greed. And you know, you've got to be driven by knowledge. You can't be driven by greed. This is a very volatile market. If you're driven by greed, I'm telling you, when you're more greed, you're going to lose money. So another thing you want to do with cryptocurrency is don't put all your eggs in one basket. So a lot of you know only one bit of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. But there are several, there are several uh, cryptocurrencies. 
until uh, you know there are a lot of them that are profitable some of them are more profitable than others but there is just not one so try and you know like you buy a cryptocurrency that you've studied and that you've tested that you are aware of you understand the volatility you understand how it fluctuates you understand just the general nature of it you must understand that only one thing drives the value of cryptocurrency only one thing and that's the forces of demand and supply it's forces of demand and supply because like i told you they are not controlled by governments so you can't have a government policy just directly you know saying that okay by fiat i'm going to fix the amount or the value of this currency no it doesn't happen like that with cryptocurrency so it is just the value you know the market forces for forces of demand and supply that that affect the value that determine the value that fix the value you have to understand that and that's elementary economics and that's why i told you you can't be led by greed you've got to be led by knowledge knowledge you've got to be led by knowledge so you must understand that the forces of demand and supply you know uh work this way for instance the more merchants accept cryptocurrency obviously the more demand there's going to be and the more demand there's going to be then the higher it's going to increase in value and so when you have like a merchant saying, okay, I'm not going to use crypto anymore, then obviously it's going to, there's going to be a drop in demand. And when there's a drop in demand, it's going to affect the value. So that's how uh, crypto rises and falls. So you see, when uh, Tesla, when Elon Musk said, okay, Tesla is going to be accepting crypto, obviously you saw what happened. There was an increase in demand and boom, you know, the price of certain cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin went up. Now, how do you buy cryptocurrencies? That's the million dollar question. How do you buy cryptocurrencies? You know, it's actually easy. It's not as hard as you think. There are several cryptocurrencies, first and foremost. There are several cryptocurrencies. You know, so you have um, the biggest, obviously, which is Bitcoin. But then you also have Monero. You have Dogecoin. You have Litecoin. You have Ethereum. You've got Ripple. And there are others. There are others. Now, I'm not affiliated with any of them. I'm just doing this as just a service to my viewers. So I'm not endorsing any of them. But you see, you can buy them on various platforms. You can buy them on various platforms. My staff trade in Bitcoin and trading currency, uh, cryptocurrency, and they made a lot of money. And one platform that you know, like, like you know, I use, they use, different people use is eToro. You know, and then you know, eToro is uh, is based out of Israel. It's an Israeli uh, a platform. And they also have La Token, L A, like, and then Token. You know, if you remember when Nigeria banned cryptocurrency, and then the the Attorney General of Nigeria, the Attorney General of the Federation, he released a, a, a message on social media, and then he said that okay, well, I have um, um, I've closed down my Twitter account. I've closed down a lot of stuff. You know. If you looked on the tweet, that, oh, sorry, I think it was a Facebook message that he released, at the top you would have seen an icon, and that icon was LA token, LA token. Now here is the, the chief law officer of Nigeria announcing that okay, Nigeria has a banned cryptocurrency, has banned Twitter, and right there on, his, um, on, on the Facebook message that he, that he did, you could see it there that boom, the man himself was trading Bitcoin on Latoken. So that's to show you how, how uh, versatile and universal cryptocurrency is. You know, if, you, if I'm lying, uh, Bubaka Malami, I exposed you. So the Nigerian media carried it. You can take me to court. I'll floor you there like I've floored other people in the Nigerian government. But anyway, in countries like Nigeria, before the ban of cryptocurrencies, and then in Ghana currently, a lot of people use Binance, B-I-N-A-N-C-E. So it's like finance, but with the word buy, a B-B in, in, in front of it, you know. So Binance is very big, it's very big, and you know, but I would be watchful, uh, I, would, I would be careful about Binance, because Binance is under probe in the United States. You know, it's under probe in the United States, it's been investigated in the United States. You know, and then also in the United Kingdom, yes, also um, there are some issues being raised in the United Kingdom about Binance, you know, with their government, you know, and um, the accusations, allegations, I don't want to repeat those here. Um, now, it's not, I'm not saying that because of that, that Binance is uh, a fraudulent platform or it's not trading in, in Binance, but I'm just saying is, watch it. I'm just saying, watch it, you know. Now, like I told you, you want to follow 
market trends you want to follow the news you want to follow economic news you watch a station like bloomberg you watch bloomberg and then you're going to get a lot of information that can help you uh, you use your common sense and you understand the forces of demand and supply so you know when to buy you buy uh, and then you buy low and then you hold and then when you hold you know after some time maybe you hear some bit of information like this company is going to accept uh, cryptocurrency this company is going to accept cryptocurrency you watch the market the market is going to react to that and then you can sell and then you make your money out this video has helped you you know you can ask questions below or you can send me emails i respond and uh, thank you for watching and god bless you